Okay, this is the Worldcon Finnish Inquisition at Westcon 68. We are in the 2017 bidders, and we are now hearing from Montreal. Go. <laughs> Hello again. This is from Montreal, and um, eventually, I hope you'll get to see lots of pretty pictures of our city, which is very beautiful. Um, we want the 2017 Worldcon for... Ah! Yes. Thank you. Sorry. Whoops. Let's try that again. Uh, we are bidding for the 2017 World Con for the major reasons of it's our 150th anniversary as a nation, confederation. It is the 375th anniversary of the founding of the city. And it will be the 50th anniversary of the 67 Expo, which was in Montreal to celebrate the centennial of Canada. And it's one of, from what I hear, many, many people who got into science, technology, um, engineering, and mathematics. It is their start in those fields. Oof. Sorry, I'm being mildly distracted. Um, aside from those facts, Montreal is a wonderful, lovely city. I think most of you have, were there for the 2009. If you thought that was fun, this will be even bigger. The celebrations have already started for the 150th of anniversary of Confederation, uh, PEI being the place where it all started, they're busy going, it took them a while to write out the Canadian Articles of Confederation, so um, they're busy celebrating it now, and okay, <laughs> ah, there we are. So as you can see, this is a nice view from our old port, uh, Montreal has lots to offer the traveler. Uh, we are an interesting mix of both Europe and North America. We, we have a lot of the architecture, a lot of the approaches to life that Europe has while being busy with the North America 24-7, 365 per year. Um, one of the things that shows our city through the evolution of time and why it is the future now is our architecture. A lot of our architecture, you can see where, for example, in 67, they, not six, the buildings built in 67 for the World Expo are still in use. Many of them are still in use. You can get back to stage tours. Uh, this is the Olympic Stadium where they built it for the 76, and yeah, it does look like a flying saucer when the roof is retracted. It's probably not the best design for a retractable roof, but it still looks cool as well as Habitat 67 here, which is what you're looking at. Summer is a lovely time to be in Montreal. Um, those of you who haven't been there, you should come, regardless of whether or not we win. Montreal is just a great place. It's that sort of place where people sit at sidewalk cafes, sit around, talk to their friends, and have time to enjoy life whilst you know, pursuing the joys of business. In terms of travel, coming in and out of Montreal is very easy. In fact, uh, we just open, I think, last year, a special U.S. terminal. So if you're coming in and out of the U.S., we've got a special place just for you so we can process and handle everything that the TSA requires and Homeland Security and Customs and Immigration and all of those guys. Um, and I've just kind of lost my trail of thought here. Sorry about that. Um, we are very close to the U.S. border. There are lots of things to see should you wish to drive. You can also take the train. You can take the bus. You can take um, ships from Massachusetts. I believe it's out of Maine. But you can take a ship down the St. Lawrence Seaway to come to Montreal if you want to come by boat. Also, you can probably bike there. It's kind of ambitious, but you can do it. We have lots of, yeah, this is the state of the art terminal just for U.S. flights. Um, Jesus, quickly stealing it. Look at her notes. And in 2017, it's, as I'm trying not to overhammer the fact that the 150th is a really big year for us, but it is. Um, it's the analogous to when the bicentennial was in the U.S. in the 76. This is a year where the country will break out in celebration the entire year, and it doesn't matter where in the country you go. Um, in the centennial example, we had two cities in Ottawa who 
wanted to prove to each other which one had the better fireworks. And we always win when they do this because one night one city would do one set of fireworks and then the other city would do a set of fireworks. And Montreal being the people that we are, we love fireworks. Every year we have the fireworks competition with representatives from multiple countries competing for a 30 minute presentation. Um, and you have quarter of a million if higher, if not higher, I mean they shut down the main bridge in the city to watch these fireworks. This is our lovely convention center. Somebody was asking about how the flavors or how we know you're in Montreal if you stay the entire time in the convention center. The convention center is an architectural landmark. You will know you are in Montreal. Within the convention center itself, we have other indications of, yes, you are in a different country, um, Tim Hortons, which is similar to Dunkin' Donuts, although, okay, we're gonna argue about which one is the better donut. It is there in the convention center. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> thank you. So, um, so we have Timmy's there, we have- Time. One, whoops, one of the local- anyway, Time. I'm done. Thank you. Uh, questions for Montreal. I'm gonna consider this one answered as part of the Prezo. Um, Julie. We have a range of hotels, and this is where the Canadian currency will serve you in good stead, because right now I believe we're at like 23 below. Um, in, in other words, the US dollar is getting $1.23 Canadian. We have a range of hotels, five of which are straight across the street. Um, we have little boutique hotels. We have a very interesting, the hotel, those of you who are there, with the Chinese pagodas on it. We will also have hotel for the budget traveler, student housing type of level as well. But you know, if you want to spend lots of money, great. We'll accommodate you. If you don't want to spend so much money, we can make it smaller. Thank you. Questions for? What are you doing to reach out to communities of color to attend the Well, number one, Montreal is populated with a hugely, oh, sorry, this, it's the diversity question, sorry. Um, Montreal is a hugely diverse city. Not only are we bilingual, most of our citizens are trilingual. They all have an extra, it's just not a common extra third language. A lot of the community in Montreal comes from former French colonies. So you have a great diversity of people from all over the world who are represented in the city. And um, we had a huge number of diverse people in for our last Worldcon in 2009. So I don't think we are going to have a diversity issue in the traditional perceived U.S. sense. Question for Montreal? Did I hear a voice in the back? Oh. Linda? But it wasn't our birthday then. This is the last shot we're going to have let, at a birthday let, party. Let, let the querent finish the question. Oh, the question was about why are we going for another World Con so soon after 2009, which was our last one, and it is because we, Canadian nationalism is a little odd compared to U.S. nationalism. They're not up so upfront about it, but when it comes time to celebrate the fact that Canada is the multicultural mosaic that it is, they do it big. Mike. Should we win the bid, there will be three con shares. It will be myself, Terry Fong, and Robbie Bourget. Other questions for Montreal? Can I answer one? Sure. Um, to address the question about harassment, yes, we will have a harassment policy, <laughs> and it is crafted by one of um, our largest groups, which is a 25,000 anime convention with an average age of 18-year-olds. So we, we do understand harassment. Nolly. How difficult is it to get by in Montreal and the people are bigger? You can get by perfectly fine. Most people are trilingual. Uh, sorry, it's the language question. Yes, Montreal is bilingual. You want to do business, we will, talk to, we will speak to you in English all you like. But, um, but yeah, no, getting along in Montreal in English is not a problem at all, and they don't care if you switch languages in the middle because I have to do that a lot. 
I attempt my really paltry French, and then I was like, I'm sorry, I have to switch to English, and they just laugh at me, and they make the switch, no problem. Any other questions from Montreal? Kevin. Easiest, cheapest way is the 747 bus. It goes from the airport, gets to downtown in roughly um, 30 minutes. And it runs, when you buy the ticket for the 747 bus, because it is part of public transit, that ticket will last you for 24 hours. Once you get on site, you do not need anything besides your own mobility. Sharon. Oh yeah, we're having our party tomorrow night. Come see us to room 1215. Any other questions from Montreal? Okay. Um, oh, Gary. Gary. Okay. We are in the center of the city, so getting around is not going to be a major issue, but should you want to get around besides using your feet, we sit on top of a metro station. So all you have to do is walk downstairs and the subway will take you wherever you want to go. Um, we also have a bike rental system. So if you would like to take a, um, the most famous of which is the one in Paris, but we actually own the company that does the, the city bike rental. So you can, there's a bike rental station at the convention center. So you can just put in your card, hop on, ride to wherever you'd like to go and anywhere else you like. Um, yeah. Molly. Like <laughs> what, uh, what is the mobility situation? Sorry. Um, it's very good. I mean, I can't deny it. Montreal is 300, will be 375. There are going to be the odd corners, but most of the city is being as compliant as possible. And sorry, at the convention center, it is fully compliant. Other questions from Montreal? Okay, thank you for your time. Um, since all of them finished with less time than was allotted, is there any final questions for any of the three bidders? Sharon? So if DC, Helsinki, and Montreal all have metro systems, do they all have metro systems? <laughs> <laughs> I'll let Japan answer that. Um, <laughs> 